Hi, my name is Claire Gildersleeve and I'm the Assistant Director of Visual Arts and Design here at the Brit School. Um, I'm here to talk to you about our Key Stage 4 Visual Arts and Design Strand course um, and we're really excited that you've come to watch this um, talk and that you're interested in our course. So the uh, course you'll be studying if you join us on our Visual Arts and Design Key Stage 4 course is a Level 2 BTEC Tech Award in uh, Art and Design Practice. Uh, that is a course which is filled with lots of different specialities, disciplines. We really explore um, a whole range of things um, and it's a great stepping stone up to our post-16 uh, Visual Arts and Design course. The BTEC Tech Award is uh, comprised of two components. So there's a component which is all about generating and refining ideas and developing ideas in art and design, and another one which is based on building skills. So we run all of those things throughout the course. Um, and then the final component is, is an externally set assignment, um, which we sometimes refer to as an exam, but it's not just a one day come in and sit down and that's your one chance thing. It's, a, it's actually an entire project which is about responding to a client brief so we've built all of those skills up to get to you to that point through our previous projects before we get to that externally set assignment we do visits to museums galleries and other places of interest that also help to develop those contextual awarenesses we give you assistance with building an art and design portfolio and we have lots of live projects so at least four exhibitions um, across your course and um, with lots of other opportunities as well uh, we create work that can be sold um, which is nice gives you a bit of extra pocket money um, community projects we've done national competitions and having that five hours a week in strand just gives you the opportunity to try lots of other things um, aside from the criteria and meeting all of that and passing the qualification. The facilities that Key Stage 4 students use are the same as the post-16 students. Obviously we have slightly less time um, but there's an opportunity for you to cover everything um, in, in the time that we have. So um, you will use the dark room um, for darkroom processing and photograph developing, you will use um, the Mac Suite, you'll use the textiles equipment, um, you'll use the print studio um, and all of those things that we have available um, will be also available to you. Just to elaborate on uh, some of those opportunities that I discussed earlier, we have um, two or three exhibitions a year that students are involved with. Some of those are at school. Um, so we have a whole department exhibition in our OB show. We also have an exhibition which is purely for Key Stage 4 students, which for the past 10 years has happened at Dulwich Picture Gallery, which has been fantastic. This year we've moved it into Somerset House. So we've built a new partnership and our students will be presenting their work which is a wearable art project at the moment um, at Somerset House. So we do lots of sharing of skills, lots of collaboration with other people, but also within the class itself as well. We've been involved in projects such as Little People's Day every year. So students have been working with young people that come in. Um, lots of you will be interested to know what we look for in a student. What we are looking for is students who are sort of dedicated, passionate, um, have a really strong interest in the subject. We don't expect you to know everything, that's why you're coming here. We need you to show commitment, aptitude for the subject of course, but there is room to develop, so potential um, is massively important. And ambition as well, so we want students that are willing to come and feel that they don't know everything, but they are happy to try things. And of course, as you're applying for Key Stage 4, we also need to see that you are going to be committed to the entire curriculum as well. And the application process, um, there is a form online. You need to please make sure you only apply for one course. You must fill in your own form yourself. Um, and you need to include a copy of your Year 8 report. And also do have a look at our department social media as well. So at VAD Brit School, that is on Instagram and Twitter as well. But Instagram, you get a really nice sort of selection of visuals of our students' work. Thank you for listening to this talk and we look forward to meeting you when you apply.